For most people, walking down the high street and trying a new place to eat is an enjoyable day out. Taking your children to the park to play is an absolute dream. But for 30-year-old Lucy Martin, it's a living hell. Because Lucy's terrified anything that, that swings. swings. Today, we're going to try and put this phobia to an end. And help Lucy to get her life back. Lucy's come to join Eva and I outside one of the restaurants she's always wanted to go into, but she can't go in because of the potential that one of the light fittings may swing. What we want to know is how, how a phobia of swinging things affects your life. It affects everything. Every, any, any, anything I do in the day, where I go, who I see, where children's parties, I can't go to the park with my daughter. Just absolutely every aspect I have to think about. Really? The, the stress and it's just it's so tiring. I don't even know what it is. I don't know what it is that makes me that makes me this way. Just I'm so anxious and so stressed. I'm, I'm really sad to see the effect that this has on you, which, like I say, a lot of people will yeah. look at this and go, yeah, swing phobia, big deal. It's, it really is this a big is a deal. This is a massive deal, yeah, it isn't it? it? It's yeah, massive. It's well, do you know what? I'm really pleased that you called us in. Thank you, I'm so glad. We're going to help you. Thank you. And this is going to end today. Thank you so much. In order to cure Lucy, we must first see how severe her phobia is. Lucy, so we have a baseline mm -hmm. of how you feel on an anxiety scale, 0 to 10. Coming in here now, what is that? Where are you? Um, I would probably say about an 8 or 9. So that there's high? Stuff every, there's stuff everywhere. I can see that, but nothing's swinging. It's the potential. It's clear this phobia is crippling Lucy's life, but like all the people that retreat, their families are usually affected too. It can take quite a lot of effort to be able to arrange anywhere to go out for dinner. Um, even arranging our wedding was very, very difficult because wedding venues like to have chandeliers and these lovely, pretty things that hang from the ceilings and obviously we just can't go in there. So, um, yeah, it's rather testing. With Lucy now in the restaurant, it's finally time for us to tackle her fear. Lucy, can you tell us when it started? Um, my earliest memory is, um, I think, about the age of four or five. My dad was driving in the back of the car. I was two, I must have been on the left-hand side of the car in the back. and I could see the keys, car keys swaying in the car um, and just panicked and made them stop the car. I started screaming and crying um, and my dad I just remember my dad getting very cross not really understanding so I don't remember much in between other than they, that he had to have his knee up with the keys resting on his knee as he drove and that was the only way that they could drive back back home without me panicking and I want to ask you before before any of this happened you're in the you're on the moors you go up and down we parents are you they you know uh, beforehand um I don't, I, know, I don't know, probably. They, they, argue, they argued most of the time, to be honest. OK. They always did. And you didn't like that, did you? No. Nope. So, what I want you to realise, that in that moment that you're terrified of the arguing, the possibility of what could happen, mm. and in that moment, what happens, your brain says, I don't like feeling like this. Mm. What's caused it? And you focus on the key swinging. Mm. And in that moment, what do you blame? The keys. Who caused the problem? Obviously them arguing, Sorry? or me arguing, I don't... You want my dad arguing? Yeah. That's what caused the fear? Yeah. Because you were fearful? Yeah. But as a four-year-old girl, you get the arguing to stop, don't you, because of what you said? Yeah. Got them to stop the car. Right. Mm-hmm. In the moment, it created a solution to stop them arguing, which is what you wanted. Yeah. Yeah and notice how the feeling that you feel or felt about swinging and notice how that is comparable mm -hmm. to the feelings you felt when you were little when you heard your parents argue. Mm. Yeah. At this moment, okay. we think it's time to have Lucy face the focus of her childhood fear. Mm. How's that make you feel? I think I feel OK. You see, you're confused because I am, I just you've, think... you've never looked at something swinging and been okay about it. Mm. Is, that, is, that, is there anything to fear? There's no, there's nothing. Is there anything to fear, me doing that? 
No, there's nothing to fear. Okay. That's your reference. Fear. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. It's time for a trip to the park and hopefully a ride on the swings. Look at your mummy. So, what are you doing? Swinging. What is that on? <laughs> Swing. We came here today to help you overcome a phobia of things that swing. And you're on a swing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, do you know what? I'm 30 and I'm on a swing. You're 30 on a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're rocking it. Who's sitting on the swing? Mandy. Yeah? Can you go say hello? Hello, Mum. Hello, look at we Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? What's your mummy doing? On the swing. Is that a on surprise? On a swing? Is that a nice surprise? Are we proud of her, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> You've never ever seen me on a swing before, yeah. have you? I've never seen you within 50 feet of a swing. <laughs> and now for the million dollar question. Oh, cool. Can yeah, Lucy can push a daughter well. on the swing? Something that she's never been able to do before. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready? 